All right, guys, so we are back home from our long hunting extravaganza. We've put in quite a few days on the road, quite a few days in the field, and this is just to kind of recap what these three pups have gone through and what they're looking like post hunting. So we're gonna flip this around and take a look. These guys are stretching their legs, yeah. You can see Muddy's got just a smidgen of a hitch in her giddy up. Vex too just kind of seems a little bit stiff, maybe a little bit sore. That's because he just hunted about seven days out of the last 10 and hunted hard. Nix, come on buddy. Get some water over there. Now Muddy's got just a little bit of a sore back end here. Let's take a quick look. We noticed this, she's got a torn pad. That's something that we're gonna need to check out. Keep clean, keep doctored. And then the rest of it is just sore and tender around her nail beds. That's from breaking through all of that uh, crust in the snow. Uh, looks like we need to do a little bit of a nail trim for you, but let's take a look at those front paws here. Guys, this is part of having hunting dogs and yes, we need to take care of them. But at the same time, so you can see that's just irritating sore. They're gonna get sore. Nixer, what's going on with you, big guy? He says, nothing. I'm tough as nails. I'm just, uh, he was happy he came up today. They came up to hang out and he was just happy to lay down. Looks like daddy needs to trim everybody's nails up. But his pads, his paws, everything there looks pretty good. No cuts, nothing was found on the rest of their bodies, but you see just a little bit of laid backness and that just comes from hunting really hard. Now Vexer, yeah, he just seems a little tender footed and that again goes right in line with these nail beds. You can just see they've got some rawness, some irritation there. He doesn't want me to mess with them. That's just gonna take a day or two to heal up We'll keep his feet clean, um, but guys, this is part of hunting. We check them over, uh, we condition them well so that it minimalizes this kind of stuff, but ultimately, it's gonna happen. They're gonna get sore, they're gonna get tired. We've gotta take care of them. We've gotta make sure that at the end of long adventures like this and along the way, that they are um, checked out and on the way to recouping for our next trip. Now the conditioning that we put into them in the spring and summer and throughout the fall. So I condition even in between hunting trips. If we've got two, three weeks off, they're gonna be running. There's no sit for three weeks, uh, hang out around the house and be lazy. Otherwise, this recovery time, you know, we're not even 12 hours off of, well, we'd be, we'd be about 24 hours off of hunting. They've had 24 hours off now and they're still a little bit sore. Um, Hydration is key and keeping them conditioned. Keeping them conditioned is where I was at with that. Um, we will condition them in between hunts. Now we've got a couple weeks off before our next hunt. They'll get a few days until they start to feel good and then we will be right at roading again. That's what keeps those pads for the most part from getting too beat up. Otherwise they would have already run off their pads and we'd be in the field you know, basically with a flat tire and a dog that can't work. So, guys, keep your dogs conditioned and um, and take care of them after you get done hunting. That's all I've got for now, but I wanted to give you a short look into what it looks like after we take our dogs hunting and as hard as we hunt them, how well that they can hold up to that and recover afterward. Thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you on the flip side.